Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're dealing with a few issues that keep popping up age after age through reflection and examination of the scriptures. This time, what does the Bible say about learning and education? Prior to Christianity becoming a mainstream accepted religion in 313 AD, education was typically very different than it has been throughout the 20th and early 21st centuries. There were no organized schooling institutions per se, though some people in certain fields would deliberately seek out experts in those fields in order to learn from them, a process called apprenticeship. Typically, children would learn from their parents, not from teachers in classrooms, as they have in more recent centuries, and very few people could read. Because of this, the Bible has nothing to say about schools, though it does contain some verses that speak more generally about what's needed for learning. Let's start with the beginning of the learning process. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1, 7 Not fear as in terror, fear as in respect and desire not to offend. People who respect God recognize that knowledge and wisdom don't begin with themselves, and you have to recognize that or you'll never be able to learn anything. There are people who are so prideful that they'll angrily reject good and useful information just because they didn't think of it first, or because they don't personally like the person who did think of it. Those who respect God understand that there is someone who is inherently superior to them, which helps to discourage that kind of harmful pride. A wise heart shall acquire knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh instruction. Proverbs 18.15 Seeking true knowledge and information is a wise thing to do. This is best gained through being instructed by people who have that knowledge already. This is true for skills and crafts, as well as for direct, personal, and book learning. Lay up these my words in your hearts and minds, and hang them for a sign on your hands, and place them between your eyes. Teach your children that they meditate on them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest on the way, and when thou liest down, and risest up. Deuteronomy 11, 18-19 When something is very important to know, like the commandments of God, don't trust other people to teach those things to your children. Do it yourself. Be absolutely relentless in this. Beware, lest any man cheat you by philosophy and vain deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the elements of the world, and not according to Christ. Colossians 2, 8 Just because a person seems smart, or is called a teacher, doesn't make them free from error. Always be careful not to fall for a lie, no matter how clever it sounds. Philosophy is rightly used to determine the truth, but lies can be couched in philosophical-sounding terms as well. It's important to be able to tell when you're being deceived, especially by someone whose job is to teach. But prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 In short, find proof of the accuracy of information. This is an early clue hinting at something similar to the scientific method, testing theories through experimentation and measurement, one of many key methods of learning. Because the Lord giveth wisdom and out of his mouth cometh prudence and knowledge. Proverbs 2.6 We should also seek knowledge from God. One way to acquire that knowledge is, All scripture, inspired of God, is profitable to teach, to reprove, to correct, to instruct in justice. 2 Timothy 3.16 The Bible is all useful for teaching God's truth, because all of it is divinely inspired. However, just because it's useful doesn't mean you can't make a mistake while interpreting it, which leads to another way to acquire knowledge from God. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. 1 Timothy 3.15 Stick close to the teachings and interpretations put forth by the church from which the authority of the Bible comes. So, to sum up, the Bible says that we should seek to learn out of humility and respect for God, take charge of teaching the important things to our own children, be very careful to avoid being deceived by clever words, test things for ourselves using science, and always be ready to accept knowledge from God, especially through the scriptures and the church that he founded. This is the biblical view of education. Next, what does the Bible have to say about the environment in which we live? 
that's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.